Hey everyone, I'm working on my 85 El Camino, putting wheel wood bricks on it. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a video of how this is to be done, so here we go. This is the bracket they give you. And what you have to do is you have to cut off the ears. This is the top one. That was for the old calipers. Like that. So you get that out of the way. And then you have the bottom one. Cut that and get that out of the way. They give you a template basically of what to cut out. So this comes down in angles. And what you gotta be careful of is this right here. You gotta have enough metal out of there for that caliper. To sit in there and but flush up against this but have enough room right here and then this too so make sure all the dust and dirt and craps out of the way so that was uh interesting never had to do that before i was freaking out about that so this is the bracket for the caliper and then the rotor goes on the hub, new bearings, new seal. I'll show you the other side. This is what it looks like. And you see that metal piece right in there? I was talking about earlier. This is the caliper. That's the metal bracket that I had to cut. This and that. You get to buff it down with a uh, a buffer, metal buffer that I have. So you just barely get enough room in there to have clearance. You got uh, shims in there for spacing, calipers, and the brakes. I'm waiting for brake fluid. Once I get the brake fluid, Put it all together, and then I got the uh, line locks I'm going to put in. So that will be another video. Just so you know what I got. That right there. Seems to be going pretty, pretty good. Um, I had to get a brake line kit. the G body because it takes a special type of brake line the OEM brake lines will not work because of the banjo fitting and this is the rotor with the hub assembled I just got to get some grease in that front or the outside bearing torque it down put it on so that's it those are Willwood brakes for 85 El Camino or G-Body spindles. Alright, good luck.